Hello everyone, this series will be a follow up to my warship classification series where I went over the differences between ship classes and how to assign and identify them. In this series we will discuss the construction of these ships, add some points to consider and provide general guidance and tips for their design. Check out my full fighter classification guide via the link in the description below, but to provide a quick overview, fighters should be designed to seek and engage small grid targets including other fighters, bombers and small crafts. Their primary purpose in a fleet should be to screen larger vessels against these small crafts and take occasional shots and attack runs at larger enemy vessels when an opening presents itself. To begin with, scale your fighters based on your fleet size. You will want universal docking locations and universal storage areas for them. For example, in my fleets, I have connectors on the underside of fighters located in the centre of the craft. My hangars and landing pads reflect this, so any ship can carry any fighter. As for size, I tend to stick with fitting in a 3x3x2 space. Again, this allows for any hangar to carry any craft, with a few exceptions of course. If you want to build larger fighters, and I know many creators who do this successfully, simply scale up your hangar areas in large vessels and stations to accommodate them. But remember to take into account the fact that you'll have a lesser carrying capacity in favour of more survivable crafts. The two main armaments I recommend on a fighter would be Gatling guns or autocannons. Both options will shred through small grid light armour, but won't be as effective versus large grids. If your enemies field larger and more heavily armed fighters than yours, go with autocannons, and if you have this advantage, go with the Gatling guns. Also think about the location of your weaponry. For high accuracy and concentrated fire, I recommend keeping your main weapons as close to the centre of the craft as possible. The further from this point you stray, the less concentrated your fire will be from your crosshairs. For extra firepower and cover, you can also add turrets onto your fighters. Typically, you won't get to control these unless you're performing a strafing run or a station or a large grid vessel, but they can come in handy as a stern chaser for enemies on your rear, and you can make some really simple custom turrets to cover your rear as well. Beyond primary weapons, it can also be useful to carry one or two heavier guns for opening shots or for ranged volleys at larger vessels. This could be a rail gun, a fixed assault cannon or even some rocket pods. Generally, for fighter craft I tend to balance armour. On something like an interceptor for example I would go with lighter armour, but for fighters I would cover the hull with light and then reinforce key areas such as surrounding the cockpit with heavy armour and blast doors. As usual, using spaced armour and armour panels dotted around the ship can also help and serve as space armour for you, but at its core you want a solid foundation around key systems and even more protection around the essential ones. As a caveat, due to size constraints you may not be able to fully protect and cover your fighter across the whole of the hull so sometimes compromises must be made in the form of exposed components or systems in order to comply with hangar space. Some features you may want to consider adding onto your fighter. Cameras. These are essential for aiming your high caliber weapons and for maximizing accuracy in combat. Ideally, have a well protected camera behind multiple layers of glass or pack a few into the ship for redundancy. Hard points. I usually do these in the form of small merge blocks on some form of hard point. From here, you can add dumb fire rockets, homing missiles, bombs, rocket pods, boosters, or pretty much anything else you can think of. Projectors. I would highly recommend having a well protected projector somewhere in the ship, which can be activated in case of repairs being needed, combined with a nearby repair vessel. You'll be able to quickly repair your fighter and get back in. This is also a useful feature for survival uses. 
in general, the first thing to go will be your cockpit. Why is only one up? <clears throat> I said it earlier, but ensure it is well protected. Some people even fully enclose their cockpit in armour, which can be a good idea. But generally, I surround them with heavy armour, and sometimes partially enclose them for that extra protection. Hydrogen thrusters I would always recommend. Ion can work for long range fighters, but ideally you want a hybrid setup so you can fly outside of combat on your ion thrusters and fire up the hydrogen thrusters when you need quick manoeuvres.